And I survived 25 days in Norland through bandit attacks, random death threats toward my settlement, and countless times going to war. It all started something like this. First, I had to find a suitable location for my unclaimed settlement. Parkville sparked my interest. Day one, I started by constructing various buildings from lumberyards, rutubaga fields, and the library so we can get our knowledge up. Because we ain't no dummy in this settlement. While I was getting acquainted with my new settlement, I spotted out a cave. I wonder, what's in there? After some time, the trader came around, so I traded some of my wood to the trader. Hey, yo! I had to make sure I didn't go above his limit due to market saturation making the product go down in gold in the future. So I had to bribe some peasants around my colony and spread some heresy about a random disease that plagued their town. So I sent my messenger off to do that, and surprisingly, they fell for it. <laughs> stupid peasants. So me and Wolf King had a long chat planning our next moves to improve our settlement. Day two through five. Later that evening, we went to go drink some wine and I got attacked by a bandit. Brother, stop! She's down on the ground! No second chances here. Ah! We went to bed to recover from a long night. While I was studying on how to cultivate rye fields and mills, Wolf King was also studying about how to make beer. So I had my villagers make up a brewery so we can get our crunk on. Later that evening, Brahma was trying to find a suitable candidate for his future legacy. Yeah, I'm about to break the bridges Ooh, off you. Wait, I'm who that outside? Brother. Where that camera at, my boy? My king, what are you talking about? Oh, you want to act dumb now? Okay. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to find that camera or you're going to go to the scaffold. The scaffold? All right, here, here. Hey, I appreciate that. But now, go outside and tend to them crops. Yes, my king. Don't let that happen again. You're free to go now. And one more thing. <laughs> Day 7 through 10. While my peasants continue to gather resources, I continue selling food at a reasonable price so they won't leave my settlement. Also, I had them construct a rye field so we can start brewing up some beer. We also had to build a temple so we can start praying and keep our morale up. Since the trader was in town, I had a quick chat with them. He has some books for sale that we really needed. I had to survey the map once again about any news around the colony. But look what we got here. There was another lord at a different settlement was having difficulties with someone called Marilla from Treewood. Odrykos gave me two options, neutralize the target or kidnap Help them. Me. Either way, we will still get paid 900 gold. So I sent one of my lords to kidnap them while I stay at my settlement. Later that evening, my lord was successful and was gonna take some time to bring back the kidnapped prisoner. Later that night, there was some criminal activity happening in the middle of the town. So I armed my guards to take care of this bandit doing it swiftly without anyone getting hurt. Not even joking around, the king from Treewood wanted to give me an extra 808 gold for the return of Maryland. <laughs> it's crazy what you would do to get your baby girl back. So we came to an agreement to free her, but this man only gave me 250 gold instead. For that, I gained plus 10 in relationship, but I'm sure he wouldn't forgive me for this down the line. By the way, y'all remember that woman I knocked up way back? Well, she's pregnant. And I have a daughter named Aganka? Yunaka? I was taking some time with my daughter educating her about warfare so she could protect herself when I perish. A nearby settlement wanted me to join their alliance, meaning that we couldn't take part in war or do dark deeds in any way for a short period of time. To be honest, what were they even gonna do? Look at their infantry. <laughs> Day 12 through 15. So I had to figure out how my people were going to store their finished products, so I made them make a warehouse. I knew this day would come. The privacy wanted to spread disasters to my land. They were going to arrive two to four days talking about something called nectar that would bring my colony closer to Holy Sophia. Later that night, I rallied up some troops to attack this nearby forest bandits in my colony because if I didn't take care of them, they would randomly attack my settlement. My army was on their way to the forest bandits. My army had arrived on the battlefield getting prepared for this gruesome battle. Their army seemed well trained and well armed, and so the battle started. It was a victory on our side, capturing four of their men so we can use them at our settlement. Day 20 through 25. While my army came back, we spotted out a peasant getting attacked by this beast. Really give him the hands, pink! So I quickly rally up some troops to help out the peasant. 
<laughs> she didn't make it, G. So we finished off the weird beast. So I had everyone meet at the temple so we can give her last goodbyes. Can we get an RIP in the comments? So finally, we were constructing mine chefs so that we can start making armor and weapons. So previously, this colony wanted our help. We did nothing, not even a single response. And now Callum grows tired. He wanted war. 